Let's talk about manifesting from reality transurfing, which was written by Vadim Zeeland. It's a very esoteric and metaphysical book. It will teach you how to manipulate energies, how to surf through your reality and overcome obstacles, actually avoid a lot of shit. I'm going to share three different methods from reality transurfing that actually work. I'm a practitioner of reality transurfing since 2021 and it changed my life. It's a little difficult read. Again, I love difficult reads and I love p things that are channeled that was channeled and it's a longer video so save it for later so basically when it comes to manifesting right Vadim Zeeland emphasizes to understand the excess potential that we are creating which comes from inner or outer importance so what is inner importance inner importance is when you when you think that you're better than others which is not a big deal, but like when you're really, really like being too arrogant, you know, nature don't like it. And then whatever you have is going to be taken away from you. Why? Because of the excess potential and then the balancing forces, because nature loves balance, the balancing forces will come, you know, put you back in your fucking place pretty much. Or if you're placing too much importance on the outer thing, let's say, let's say I'm married, right? And I'm so scared my husband leaves me. I already put importance on that fear, right? And, and that external thing that may happen or may not. But the more I think of it, the more it's going to happen. So guess what happens? Uh, according to Vadim Zeeland, uh, balancing forces in that case, they will take away that person completely well or they will die or something will happen you know and you won't be able to even explain what exactly you did wrong having this in mind we need to remain neutral we should not be placing too much importance on the inner thing and the outer thing yeah healthy self-esteem is good but now when you're being condescending and arrogant that's when you know we've seen in history what happens a lot of there's a lot of proof i'm a poli sci and a historian so I know another thing that he talks about which is really really fucking cool and i just did this exercise he explains your aura your world okay and other people's world where does your world where does your energy end let's do this exercise and see where your energy ends and the outer world begins it's fucking crazy i just did this exercise you need to close your eyes take a few deep breaths although it's not important because we're just testing it right i want you to energetically in your mind imagine as if you're trying to extend your energy and your body as far as you can in the environment if you're trying to extend your skin your body onto the outer world like try to extend your energy your body onto the world like i'm doing it now and i'm extending extend it extend it. you can even visualize the environment where you're in extend your energy and there will be a limit i can feel there is a limit my energy can't go past that past my backyard is and where my apartment complex starts it can't go past that that's your aura now knowing that this is yours and beyond that is other people is the outer environment is the external world knowing this you can literally set intention and actually send intention to the outer world. let's say uh we know that setting intention is this good uh for you know manifesting and all of that stuff but this is the most this is the most effective way to do it because you're going to imagine this whatever we did the exercise and then set the intention send that intention onto the outer world and forget about it and you won't forget about it because if you're doing it properly you will feel like a god i'm telling you you will feel like a god these energetic exercises they made me realize that i'm a fucking creator i'm a co-creator and when i send that intention boom within like a few minutes it would come and that's what made me believe it even more and last but not least i want you to bring back the feeling from childhood remember when we were kids up until seven years old we were present we were so happy like we believed that the world is taking care of us we believed that the world wants the best for us what happened and he states that the older people grow the more bitter they get, fucked up they get, and they see that the layer of the world is so dark because all of the bad things, all of the negative things happen. It's difficult for your mind to believe that, you know, the world will take care of you, that God will take care of you. But I just want you to introspect, reflect on your childhood, and you will remember the feeling that it was the feeling of purity, the feeling of 
uh, I don't know what happens. I don't know what's going on, but either way, I'm fine kind of thing. But the world will take care of me. Like there was that trust, right? That's the trust we need to bring back. And you can bring it back easily by doing inner child work because it's childhood. We're literally reviving the states from childhood. And trust me, up until seven years old, we were not programmed. A child gets programmed up to seven years old. The child gets programmed. But after seven years old, the program is already instilled. Now you're just testing the software, then adjusting, right? Now it's your responsibility to go back in your childhood, remember that, revive that state, and go there. I love you. Follow for more.